Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite home decor thrifted pieces. These are, I got a lot of them. I might actually have to split this video into two because there's a lot. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys like what my style is, like what I look for when I'm thrifting. So I love anything rattan, anything wicker, wood. I love grandma style stuff. So I love a lot of pressed flowers. I love the neutral colors, the browns. I love wood. Um, that's kind of a problem. I got a lot of wood stuff here. But if you guys want to see some of my favorite home decor thrifted pieces that I have ever thrifted, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start this video off with a plant because I love plants. And it's a fake spider plant. It even has like all these little growing things with it. Like, are you kidding me? This is adorable. And I actually just picked this one up yesterday, thrifting, and uh, I paid $2.50 for it. Are you kidding me? This is adorable. I plan on making like a hanging basket for it. I'm Rachel from the future, and you made one, honey. Good for you. Just kind of hanging it in the corner of my room, but this is honestly $2.50. I love it. I also will probably go through this pretty quick because there's a lot, okay? A lot. Another one of my favorite home decor pieces that I have kind of ever thrifted is this like brown bottle. It's so beautiful. I just have some sprigs of like green in it right now, but this bottle, I love it. And I did pay a dollar for the, actually, I thought I paid a dollar. This mother was only 75 cents. I just love this. It's like that brown color that I really love and I just put my own green in it, but oh, can't get enough. Um, okay, so I picked up this vintage globe and like, are you kidding me? It's just the greatest colors. I love anything gold as well. And just the colors of this, they're adorable. Like pastel muted colors. Okay, and I paid $2 for this one. And I picked this one up at a Goodwill, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna move on to like, kind of a little bit bigger things. So I picked up this shelf. Let me back it up a little. I picked up this shelf at Goodwill. And it's got like a little uh, opening thing here. Are you kidding? It's like that rattan wicker kind of, <laughs> hi. It's just beautiful. And then also at a different time, at a different thrift store, I ended up picking oh, this shelf up, which matches it. I just have the one hung up right now because I can't find a spot for the other one. And this one I did pay the same as this one, which I think I said was $3. That was like two seconds ago and I forget what I said. Since I've developed this problem with plants, I've been keeping my eye out for super cute pots or like hanging baskets, anything that I can put a plant in. So I'm gonna share with you a couple different ones that I've gotten and I have this one here. It's adorable. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's so cute. It's got the brown, the speckled, and then this beautiful little flower design in it. It's super tiny, it's adorable. And I paid 75 cents for this. Get your shit together. I can't handle it. Like that pot, I cry when I look at that pot. I bawl my eyes out. So this pot is one that you would have seen in a vlog that I did a while ago, and it's it's this pot here. It's just this brown pot and I paid 75 cents for it. And I wanted to share with you guys too, this is what I also thrifted. So the tassels along the top, I thrifted as well. I got a big bag of it for 75 cents. Crazy. And I've just been literally gluing it on everything because that's what I do. But I just wanted to share with you this pot. I love this pot. And I just put this cactus in it, uh, which if you saw the vlog, I'm afraid of. So anyways, it's great. I love, I just love it. Sticking with the pot theme, this is a pot that I picked up as well from a thrift store and this you would have seen as well from that vlog that I did. And I can't remember what I paid for this one. I believe it was probably around three or four dollars. Like she hefty. She's solid. And I just have some baby tears in there. But I just love this one as, as well. The brown and the white. Can't get enough. I just want to share with you that I literally tore my house apart for this video. <laughs> like everything that I absolutely love is us sitting on this bed right now and it's a lot. I'm going to move on to my next love which is gold frames. 
any kind of gold frame that I can get my hands on, I absolutely love. And this one as well. So we'll show you this one first. Um, just has a top here. Super cute details around the side. That's me and my husband looking cute at our wedding. Anyway, uh, this one I paid a dollar for. Then the next one I have is, uh, it's got like the, the gold as well with some like dark detail and that's just our wedding party. But I paid a dollar for this one as well. And this cute one here, these are my flowers from my wedding. I just pressed my own flowers from my bouquet. But this is, I just love this frame. Any like gold frame, honestly, I'll buy it. Like I don't even care. And I paid a dollar for this one too. I just love this one. It's adorable. It kind of goes with that other one I just showed you. Any gold frame, Rachel will buy. And it's a problem. Um, it's a problem. So, I picked this up. Actually, there's kind of a funny story behind this one. I saw this in a thrift store and I didn't end up buying it and I ended up telling my husband about it. I was like, oh, there's a spice rack. Those are noisy. There's a spice rack that I was looking at. It was $3. I loved it and I didn't end up buying it. So he shows up a couple days later and he's so sweet. He ended up buying it for me. Um, it just looks like this. It has a couple little drawers. I have nothing in it right now. But again, it's that beautiful wood color that I love. And they came with these jars with these beautiful colored tops as well. And I just put my own spices in them and I just printed out labels because I can't tell what a freaking spice is from another spice. So I printed myself labels, but I love this. It's hanging in our kitchen. It's just, oh. I can't get enough of it. It's so cute. I haven't seen very many like wood spice racks before or even like on the wall hanging ones. So I told my husband I wanted this and he bought it. <laughs> it's just cute. I love it. I love like everything. I need to stop saying I love everything. But I do. It's not a lie. So another thing that I picked up at the thrift store honestly is these two things here. So I picked up these old like crusty ass flowers at the thrift store. I paid a dollar for them. I don't know if I love the combination together. I just stuck my own um, feather in there, but I don't know if I love the combination together, but that's how it is now. So I picked up these crusty flowers for a dollar. They're beautiful. They're like super crunchy. And then I picked up this beautiful speckled vase as well. And this one I paid for a dollar. Paid a dollar for? Whatever. However you sentence sentences. I paid a dollar for it. I love this one. This one actually is just in our bedroom right now, and I can't get enough. I have nowhere else to set these. Help. I'm trying to kind of move pretty quick because I think I want to like condense this into one giant video for you all. Um, so, the next one that I have is this beautiful, beautiful wood bowl. I picked this up at Goodwill and I paid $2 for this. It's just fantastic. It's a little worn out. Uh, honestly, it is a little bit, but I don't care. I don't care. I have this on my kitchen, this little like island, th it's not an island, this little shelf in my kitchen. I have it on there and I just put my fruits and veggies in there. I can't handle this. So the next thing I want to share, I'm going to kind of stick with like the kitcheny stuff, is this super adorable spaghetti jar and it's got the brown as well. I just love like neutral brown colors. Ugh, can't handle it. But I love these. and. It says spaghetti, and I've just put my spaghetti in it, and honestly, like, I'm never gonna use this spaghetti. It's just for decor reasons. But it's on my kitchen counter. I shared this on an Instagram story before, and I paid $3, and I got this from Goodwill. Like, I just, ugh. Ugh. And beside that, I actually have, oi! Let me set that down. And beside that on the counter, I actually have this adorable little, I don't know what this is called. I call it like a candy jar, I guess. It just sits like that. I keep my oatmeal in this, and I actually do use my oatmeal from this. But I picked this up as well from a Goodwill at a separate time, and I paid $3 too. I just love like the glass kind of look, and I want to kind of get away from using as much plastic as I can. So when I found this, I was like, I'm going to use that for oatmeal, and it'll be great. So one last thing that I have in the kitchen is this basket. I love a good basket. I just love a good basket. I run to the friggin' basket section like at Goodwill or Value Village. I go straight there to the wooden like baskety section and I just look because I love them. And I picked this bad boy up for a dollar. I just love the design in it. It's beautiful. It's got like the crisscrossing and the patterns. It's so beautiful. And this one is in my kitchen right now. Um, I've been using it for, I've been stopped buying paper towels and I've been putting little cloths in here and I use these cloths as paper towels and I just wanted to have them in like a cute basket so I just didn't have them stacked on the counter and that's the one I've been using 
And I paid 75 cents for this bad boy. That's such a steal. Such a steal. So I'm going to talk about fake plants again for a second. And I picked these little ivy things. They've got little edges here. And I paid $2 for this one and only a dollar for this one. And they're just like long ivy. And you kind of just put them in a pot and hang them. I, you've probably seen them in a couple videos. I just have them hanging in this room in the background. But I love these. Any like any fake plants. I've been really getting into real plants lately. If you've been watching my vlogs, I've been loving real plants. But I do love a good fake plant because then I don't have to care for it, you know? And I just, ah, I just love these. They're great. I can't, oh, why can't I hold a damn ivy? I just, they're great. Like, they're so long and beautiful. Love it. So, my next obsession, besides pots and besides rattan and wicker stuff and besides gold frames I have a lot of issues and besides the gold frames I love pressed flowers anything pressed flowers it's so vintage it's so old I just love the look of like an old flower I think that is the old grandma inside of me just dying to come out and so I've got four pieces here to show, share with you so first is this beautiful little triangle thing I picked this one up for a dollar the tag is still on this this is like one of my first kind of ever thrifting things when I first got into thrifting. This bad boy is pretty old, but it's just this beautiful, you, it's got like a candle, you can put a candle in there and it, like the light shines through, oh lord, it just shines through, and it's just beautiful, the, the design here, I can't handle this, this is just on a, um, a shelf, that's what the word is, it's on a shelf in my living room, love it. So, the next one is this gorgeous gold frame, of course. And it's got the little balls on the bottom, this little tassel -y thing on the top here. And it's just a beautiful assortment of my... These are my favorite colors. The window's in the way. These are like my favorite colors. And they're all in little pressed flowers. I just love this. I saw this and I actually... Like, I cried a little bit. I cried a little bit. And I paid $1.50 for this one. And I picked this up. I think this was a Goodwill or a Value Village, but it was $1.50, so... Hi. I'm just editing this. And that Rachel there did not know that she was going to drop that frame and break it. I can't even watch that footage. I just, I get too upset. Seriously though, I broke that fucking frame. I hate myself. Bye. Moving right along, I picked this super cute, I don't even know what it is, I just kind of have it hung on a hook in my mudroom at the moment, but it's this beautiful little pressed flowers again, in like a see-through glass, um, I'd love if the metal was more gold, but I couldn't pass it up, so I paid a dollar for this one as well, and again, I just kind of have that hung in my mudroom. So, the last pressed flower thing that I have picked up that I've been loving is this bad boy here, oh my gosh, that's freaking windows in the way and it's this one here it's got beautiful little flowers some ferns here and actually it has pressed butterflies which I kind of was like a little upset about but I couldn't pass it up they actually just add to it like it's so beautiful um, and it's in a wood frame which I love I love you I love it it's so great it's in a wood little frame and it's got beautiful pressed flowers this again is in my shelf in the living room because I can't stop staring at it. Oh, actually I think I got this at Goodwill. I forgot to say this. I got it at Goodwill and I ended up paying two dollars for it. And if you guys want to see like some of my thrift store finds that I find, um, this one I shared again on my Instagram story. I love to share like my thrifted finds. Sometimes I'll share stuff that I don't actually end up buying and then some shit I show you that I actually bought. So the next thing I want to show you, it's kind of big. I don't know how to actually show you all of it but it's this blanket I picked up it's like a knitted blanket it's got like these little balls and everything all over it balls it's got these little balls on it I just love this I have it uh, draped over a chair in my living room I can't handle it it just looks really like vintage and kind of boho with like the dots and everything this is honestly one of my favorite things that I've ever thrifted this blanket and I thrifted this for five dollars and I got it at a value village and that was a while ago this was one of those pieces that I've had for a while and it just keeps like hopping house to house with me but I love this one so another thing that I picked up and I got this one from Goodwill and I paid four dollars before I tell you about it because I will forget that I picked up this basket it's pretty big I've got to lean back for this one um, I picked up this basket and I don't know what it's meant for 
I was using it for a laundry basket, but everything just kept kind of getting stuck to the stuff inside, so I stopped using it as a laundry basket, and I just kind of use it as a decoration. I have it set beside a chair in my living room as well, and I love it. The colors in this are killer, and it's great. It just goes with my whole decor theme, and this is one of those items. I do this a lot. I'll walk into Goodwill, and I do a quick scan. Goodwill, any thrift store, I'll just walk in, and I do like a quick little scan, and I'm like keeping my eye out for if I can see anything and this is one of those items I spotted from like the front door and I fucking ran to go to it I'm like oh I need you in my life and I just ran and then I got it and I love it Mwah. so this is the second third and second last items I'm gonna show you first off I'll show you this plant I picked up oh I don't even know oh sorry dog I don't even know if you can see it all, but it is so adorable. I picked this one up from my local thrift store, and it's just got a fake little pot here. It's a fake plant. It's a fake plant, but it's really big, and I paid, I think this one I paid $7.50 for, and I was a little, like, I didn't want to pay that, but I mean, for fake plant, that's pretty damn good, and it looks pretty real, so I love this one. And then I was kind of like, I don't like it, this pot, so I was kind of keeping my eye out for something that I could put it in and I ended up finding this at a different thrift store so it's got like the dark color bottom it's covered in dog hair ew um, it's got the dark cover bottom and it's again like that rattan wicker kind of thing it's just this pot holder uh, this again like I said with that laundry basket thing is one of those items I spotted from when I first walked in and I shit my pants and I ran at it and I paid four dollars as well and I got this at a value village and I love this I can't believe it was only four bucks a lot of these items I started getting a little bit before the kind of bohemian style came in so I did get a lot of these pieces for killer prices um, if you go now they're not always as cheap which is kind of sad but I also, so this is like what I put it in, and it's adorable, and this is again just in my living room, and I love it, I love everything. You make me happy, you know that. Okay, I have to go and get the last one because I just remembered that I love it and I need to show it. Okay. Okay, so I saved literally my favorite piece for last. I, I just love this one so much. If you had to pick one piece of home decor that had all of my like styles incorporated this would be it and I love it so I picked this one up I don't know if the price tags on it I believe this one was two fifty or three dollars around there and I picked this up from the Salvation Army <sighs> I love it so as you can see it's got the wood it's got the gold it's got the grandma it's got the bohemian colors this literally encapsulates, ugh, this literally is just me in a picture. And it's beautiful, like it's got the, what's it called, embroidery? Like check that out, check that embroidery out. Someone has skills and it's not me. But this is honestly one of my favorite pieces that I have ever thrifted. This is the best. Oh. All right guys, so that's it, that was annoying. <laughs> Let me try that again. All right, guys. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little... It wasn't little. Like, don't lie to yourself, Rachel. This was a giant thrift haul. And I realize... Like, I realize that this will probably be a long video. But I wanted to share some of my favorite pieces that I've thrifted that are home decor. And these are honestly them. This whole little haul... Little. I keep calling it little. This was giant. This whole haul literally encapsulates me and my style and what I love, and I'm glad that I got to share that with you guys. If you guys want to comment down below which was your favorite thing that I've thrifted, uh, let me know. That would be awesome. And yeah, that's kind of it for me today, guys. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.